Hey guys, I'm Adrit here, and today we are reviewing another map. Whoa! This is the classic paintball review, and actually let's review in the, um... Alright. Let's review in the original textures. Okay. I have not opened up this map yet, as you can see. Um, the last time it was opened... It was 31415, which is, I assume that's uh, when they last uploaded the update. I assume so. Um, I downloaded this update off of the forums. So, yeah. This is Classic Paintball. Let's see what it's all about. Whoa. Okay, so immediately I met with signs. Um, uh, lagging a little bit. Huge thanks to Lane G17 for, for providing the map pictures. Please vote yes at the end of the game because the map's coming. Oh, and then another sign about Lane. Teleport to red side, not in final. Good. For a second, I was like, that sounds a little bit overpowered. Paintball shield, use it wisely. Do I. Or do. Map made by Drop Beats Not Bomb. <laughs> they couldn't fit his full name in. His original full name is Drop Beats Not Bomb. Jesus. I find it humorous how they couldn't fit his full name in. I feel kind of bad because, of course, you want your full name and your map credits, but he should really shorten his name. <laughs> Mmm, cake. I agree. Cake is pretty nice. Okay, so this actually looks pretty interesting. Do these do anything? Oh ho. No way. Ha! That is awesome. I'm gonna just take a quick look at the command block magic behind this. Fissure just to fill. Redstone block. Oh, 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 dang. They used, um, they didn't put their redstone down here. That's a shame. <laughs> I wanted to check it out. I see they used the full stone slab bricks. That's pretty neat. Um, I actually personally have yet to include a map that uses those. Okay. So, oops, no, 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 no. Okay, I guess we'll review red side as well. Cake is the lie. Okay. So. Oh, they even had a um, test for. Like, if I just go right here. Never mind, I lied. <laughs> I thought they had a test for, um, see if the player was in here, and no, they just have a quick burst of clearing it and then replacing it. Alright, alright, that's fine. Okay, so, yep, signs are the same one here, Tilbert the blue side on final, great, great. What I really like about this is the clay! The clay, and I believe this is quartz, yes it is. It just looks so cool. I love how colorful this map is so far. I haven't even stepped outside yet. Well, I kind of have, but I haven't looked around outside. But, ooh. Hashtag. That's helpful. <laughs> there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 blocks in the monument. Actually, I could have done it with basic math, but whatever. I like how it's shaped. It's like a paint splatter. No, it's shaped like a hashtag. Ha ha, ha ha, very funny. So there's 16 blocks in the monument. That may be a little bit small. But, mm, we'll see. And out we go. This is nice. I didn't know these were animated. That's cool. <laughs> Probably because I have those animations off all the time. 
Holy. This looks sick. Apart from the very boxy feeling it gives. This looks so awesome. <laughs> huh. There's a little head here. They should make like JJ's head and maybe like Hyle's head. I don't know. I just thought that'd be interesting. But this... Okay. It's very... Very simple. But that doesn't mean it's bad. Um, the build style definitely is simple. And that, I think, is mainly due to the stained clay. Um, we like the MC Wars logos. Oh, they're on all the sides. That's awesome. But it's very simple, and that's... I feel that's mainly because of the stained clay. And stained clay, you can't, in my opinion, you can't really build many busy builds with just stained clay. And I believe they wanted to go for a very colorful build, and I, I'm certainly enjoying it. It's very pleasing to the eye. So, whoa, no way. They have jump pads. Boing. Oh, that's awesome. Boing. Yep. Did you have the jump boost? Boing. <laughs> That's so fun. Ooh. That's cool. They're using map maker tools as well. No, I'm sorry. JJ hasn't coded those in. That's very neat, though. That is very neat. I really, really like that. I feel like there's going to be a chest in here, eventually. But, yeah, I really like this map. Um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of secrets to it. Another thing that I don't know... Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so great! JJ's a pig. JJDT's a pig. Hal Morphic's a pig. Uh... That one's red built. Yes, I knew it. And then this one's Crazy Daisy. That's awesome. That's so awesome. They chose their colors. And Mod Siren. And the helper. That is so cool. <laughs> the admins are pigs. The map makers are sh sheep. The mods. Or mod. Uh, is a cow. Which. Do they have Lua? Oh, they, they're going to need to update that. They're going to need to update that to a mod. Because Lua was promoted. Congrats, Lua. Anyway, I think another thing that would be really cool if they haven't already, I'm actually gonna take out some TNT. I apologize, guys. I'm just gonna let me steal it. Um, but I wanna see if they added anything in the walls. Because a really cool thing about paintball maps, or just paintball stuff in my opinion, is the fact that there's like tunnels in the walls and stuff that you can le get to their base besides the main bit. All right, let's see. No, doesn't look like it. I just drop another load of TNT in. All right. Oh. But I definitely feel this map needs some work. But that's not really a bad thing because it's very good as is. Um, I do not feel that it's completed yet, but that is mainly because there's all of this that they have to work with. This entire square thingy that they have to work with. They could make stuff in the walls, they could make different levels and courses in the walls. I think that'd be really cool. Especially using those jump pads down there. If um, there's like different levels you could jump up to. Maybe two, they could fit two levels in there. Uh, when I say level, I mean floor, if that's not apparent. So they could fit two floors. And you could jump up in between the two. Um, I just feel this map is very eye-pleasing. And I really like the simple build style. It just needs some work. And that's what these reviews are for. Overall, if I were to give it my super demi rating of approval, I would say this map is a 7 out of 10. 
Uh, nothing really wrong with it, except it just needs more. It needs more stuff. Ah! Okay. Um, but I feel it can definitely be fixed. There's nothing too big about it. Maybe have entrances to the tunnels on each side. I'm really curious to see if they have anything in here. Because it just seems like too much of a bulk to not have anything in here. I'm gonna explode this entire thing up. Give me a sec. So we place on the TNT, and ah, that's gonna cause a lot of lag on my end. Okay. Yeah, they're not doing anything with the inside of here. That definitely <laughs> needs to change. Because look at how much they have to work with and they're not doing anything with it i think yeah that definitely needs to change um but yeah that's really that concludes my review of the map i hope you guys enjoyed it um yeah i guess that's really all i have to say is there anything underground whoa Oh my. That's why Rad had barrier blocks, or whoever is here. TP. Demodirt. 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 Okay, I have to allow cheats. TP Demodirt. Eh. Plus two. No. Eh, eh. Plus two. There we go. Whoa! I found a secret room. Oh. To unlock, place the red key below. Whoa! That's cool. So they have a red key. Huh. Isn't on the side, is there a blue key? I'm guessing. To unlock, place the blue key below. But what's sensing that? Do they have a, um, a test for or something of the sort? Command block that's on a clock in the spawn chunks. I'm not sure. <laughs> but that's a really cool addition. So I think it'll be cool to see where that goes. <sighs> and... I can't wait to see how the entire map goes and the direction it takes. I'm gonna make a quick check to see if the um both the spawns are the same. Mainly check the spawns and a blue hashtag. Yep, I think 16 is a really good number of blocks considering that they're not too far apart. Um. What axis are we on? Okay, we're on negative x. No, we're, we're on negative z. Duh. Um, so this is 36. Two negative thingies. Oh. Huh. So the uh, spawns and mons are 72 blocks apart, and I think that's actually a really good number. Um, for the spawns and mons to be. Um, especially with 16. <sighs> Excuse me. This is a very unprofessional review. Um, so, I ver I think the 16 blocks really fits the... Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a sign there. What's say? Admins, map makers. 
helpers. And I'm guessing the other one said mom. Um, okay, I've said this many times before, and this is the last time I'm going to say it. Say it. Uh, that concludes this review. Um, I'd say after finding out the other secrets, it's a 7.5 out of 10. Sorry for dragging this on for like another three, five, three to five minutes or so. Um, but anyway, that's all there is for this review. See you guys later. Bye bye.